Okay, so after about freaking 10 minutes of trying to fix this little piece of my hair that keeps sticking up, I'm just gonna say, fuck it. And if I have a piece that sticks out of my hair like that goes that way, fuck it, right? My hair looks cool anyways, right? Just go through on the side. I'm gonna talk from the side, because I think it looks better from the side, right? Right? Definitely looks better from the side. So I'm gonna talk to you like this. I'm kidding. But I'm gonna tilt my head a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So, um, on the train last night, 2.30 in the morning. Don't ask me why I was out that late. Gosh. Mama says only people who are out at 2, 3 in the morning are hookers, hoes, and pimps. But I'm not in that category, so you can kiss my ass, Jan. Anyways, continue with the story. I'm on the train. I sit down, and I'm, uh, I'm already pissed because I didn't get to um, have any fun last night. I didn't get to drink because I had to leave really early because I don't want my mother to be mad at me and yelling at me and stuff. So I had to leave early, which was at 2 o'clock. Which is not really early, but the party was just getting started, and I was really mad that I had to leave. It was really freaking depressing. But anyways... I'm sitting on the train, and this crazy dude comes and sits in front of me, and I'm like, okay, because it's 2 o'clock at 2.30 in the morning, because it takes me time to get to the train, and there's two people on the train, but they're sleeping, and I'm like, oh, God, so this guy sits in front of me, and he says, hey, and I look over, and I just look at him, like, whatever, and I get mad, because he looks really crazy, he's smiling, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fucking get anally raped on the train, seriously, this is my day to get anally raped, so, and, um, he starts saying something else, and I'm not listening, so then all of a sudden, this crazy dude zips his pants and I'm like oh my god I'm really gonna get angry raped and I'm like freaking out on my mind I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna have to beat him up I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to forcefully attack him so he unzips his pants and I move and I move to the end of the train well in front of the people who are sleeping and then um, I sit down and I'm just like really fucking pissed off by that time because I really couldn't get drunk and then I sit on the train this crazy guy is like trying to whip his shit out and like Go to Happy Town on me. And I'm like, what the fuck? So he gets up from his seat and comes by me and sits on the other side of me. And I start cursing him out. Like, really cursing him out. So pissed off cursing him out. And I said, if he ever come near me, I would cut his junk off and tape it to his face. And then he got scared. And I kept cursing him, at him out. And then he walked into the train and was just looking at me. It was really freaking awkward. Luckily, it was only two stops from my house. And then um, we got off the train. And I was so pissed off. Because I'm like, really? Today's not my freaking day. And I was just so mad. It was a really crazy mad. And then I was walking. And then I went outside. And it was this crazy dude. Um, right in front of the freaking police station. This dude was trying to talk to me. He's like, hey, yo, hey, yo. I'm like, I'm really not having this right now. I'm really not. And numerous people kept coming by saying things, and I was just getting really pissed off. But other than that, that crazy guy, he was, he was the nice thing. Yes, mother! She's gonna come here now. You're not eating? No. What? I'll eat later. You're gonna eat the pork chop? Sure. <coughs> 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 oh my god. I'm coughing like crazy. I think I have the swine flu. <coughs> Either that or I swallowed a fucking bug. <coughs> you like my hair? It's new. Um, I totally just got it done like two days ago. And yeah, it's new. Do you like it? I love it. Makes me look like an anime character, so I'm told. <coughs> Dude, if I seriously die of swine flu, please tell everybody that I hate the world and I never liked being here in the first place and that <coughs> I hope this flu catches to all the babies in the world because they must die. Kill babies dead. Kill them. Kill them. Abortion. Yes. Kidding. I'm still kidding. I don't have the swine flu. Though it's coming here. It's seriously on its way. It's in Queens already. Brooklyn and Queens are pretty fucking close. Yeah. So if I die tomorrow, seriously... Like, if I die, would that give me more subscribers? Like, you know how artists usually, like, if they die, their work gets famous. Like, freaking all those great people were nothing when they were alive. They die, and it's like, you get so much. Or, like, Biggie and Tupac and stuff. Wait, no. They were always good. They got better when they died, though. I don't know. But, yeah, if I, if I die, just keep my legacy of YouTube alive, please. But, um, yeah. It's pretty crazy weather lately. It's, it was 80, 86 today, which makes no sense. How is it 86 degrees and it's like not even summer yet? It's going to be like almost hitting the 90s. And then on Tuesday, it's going to drop down to 60. What the fuck is that about? I really don't know. FYI, my brother nicknamed me Soo Young. My new name is Soo Young because he says I look Asian, which is 
freaking greatness. You know I love Asian people. They're like greatness. And I'm not even discriminating. I just really like Asian people. I mean, they're like just great. Really great. I went too far.